Begin the eye examination by assessing the patient's visual acuity. To do this, have the patient stand 20 feet from a Snellen eye chart. If the patient wears contact lenses or general purpose glasses, tell her to wear them. But ask the patient to remove reading glasses because they blur distance vision. I want you to take this card and cover your left eye and read the smallest line possible. F E Note the visual acuity L printed at the side of the line of the eye chart. E Z and D. Now I'd like you to try to read the next line. D um, F, F. Then repeat the test on the other eye. Okay. Now take the card and cover your right eye and read the smallest line possible again. Only this time I'd like you to read it backwards from right to left. Remember to record visual acuity using two numbers, such as 2020, which is normal. E and F. Now prepare to test the patient's visual fields. Directly face the patient from a comfortable distance and imagine a glass bowl encircling the patient's head. Ask the patient to look into your eyes. As you return her gaze, place your hands two feet apart lateral to the patient's ears. Then, at ear level, move your wiggling fingers along the imaginary bowl until the patient points to them. Repeat these movements in the upper and lower temporal quadrants. Normally, a patient sees both sets of fingers at the same time. If so, the visual fields are usually normal. Note that the eyebrows normally limit the visual fields in the upper temporal quadrants compared to the lower temporal quadrants and the directly lateral areas.